Okay, that's better. Hey guys, um, I want to talk to you, y'all, about exoplanets. Exoplanets. I'm doing jaw exercises to open my mouth up, bro. I'm freaking, I talk like a freaking, sometimes. Anyways, so to get started, uh, we, 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 we cannot go to an exoplanet. Nope, it's not possible right now. Right now. Um, now, this... Okay, I just had something come to mind. Elon Musk is... Um, okay, he has his first generation of AI called Grok. I'm sh I think it's called... I think he's on Grok 2. Correct me if I'm wrong. Grok 3 is coming out. It's going to be a super intelligence smarter than the smartest human being. What does this mean? Could we figure out um, how to travel a light year um, or four or ten would be better um, through this super intelligent AI? Because exoplanets, I feel like some of them might be more habitable than some of the planets in our solar system. Mars is pretty habitable. The highest temperature, I'm pretty sure, recorded in Mars was like 70 degrees, or like that's just the average like daytime temperatures. So it's a, it's like a desert. It's average in the daytime, and it's probably freezing at night. Hold on. Okay. Um, but what fascinates me about exoplanets, man? Where is, where, where am I going with this? Where am I going with this? Um, what are your guys' thoughts, man? Have you heard about exoplanets? What are your thoughts? You know, I, I, I wondered why Elon Musk has never talked about exoplanets. He always talks about Mars. And the reason that is is because, for one, like I said, we can't travel to an exoplanet right now. And his main focus is something we can do, you know. Um, and I think Mars will be cool. It's cool. It's cool. It is awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> Because of out of all the planets, <sighs> you, hold on. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, guys. Out of all the planets you could have been born on, you were born on Earth, and you have the opportunity to go to another planet called Mars, and it's actually a pretty cool planet. All right, you know, I I've talked about unspoken coolness. Some people are cool, and you don't even have to say they're cool. It's unspoken. You know, what makes a planet unspokenly cool? You know, I hear Mars, I'm like, oh, that sounds all right, but Dude, there's this steam world about 10 million, um, excuse me, 10 light, 10 light years away. Um, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> okay, let me, let me retract my thoughts here. Okay. Yeah, so last night I was thinking, like, the AI, the super intelligence, could probably solve cancer, too. Think about what a cancer cell is. A, can a cancer cell is, is something that needs to be destroyed in order to, you know, get rid of your cancer. So I think uh, AI will maybe be able to do, help us solve <gasps> that too. But at that point, would AI be like, now, I believe in God, and I'm not calling AI God. I'm saying, I feel like God would not allow that. Something smarter than us? That sounds a little strange, doesn't it? It sounds a little scary. Interesting, for sure. Um, so, so yeah, I ask my friends, will you go to space? Do you want to go to space whenever it happens? It'll be like in the next couple of years. Elon Musk promised Trump uh, that we will make it to Mars. If, by, like, if he gets elected, we will make it to Mars. Um... You know what I'm saying? So, and I asked my friends, do you want to go to space? And they're like, eh, eh. <sighs> Why not, man? Why not? It's freaking awesome out there, dude. It's freaking awesome. And, you know, I think that's the part of having curiosity. You take risk to for the reward. You know, I know that something could go wrong going to another planet. But if you've ever watched the movie Total Recall, maybe I'll put a clip of it up right now. Call Recall for the memory of your ideal vacation. You were interested in a memory of, uh... Mars. 
You're gonna love this, Doug. Yeah, but how real does it seem? As real as any memory in your head. You are on your most important mission. Do you want to know the future? What about the past? You are not you. You're me. The erase baby. But if you've ever watched Total Recall, um, I that's what I feel like space is gonna be. A Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger, by the way. I feel like that's what space is gonna be. Like, like going to a planet. I think that's what's gonna be like. Um, even though in the movie he's not actually, but still, I that's what I believe space is gonna be like. Um, but that that pretty much sums it up. I I I think AI will help us figure out how to travel light years at a time, and um, you know, Mars is two hundred sixty-eight thousand miles away. Um, one light year is like a trillion miles. Whew. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, anyways, guys, anyways, 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 I hope you enjoyed me talking about exoplanets today. Um, shout out to Nathan Bailey, great supporter of the channel. Um, shout out to the Three Ps Media. You can check their YouTube channel out on my, uh, YouTube page. Um, yeah, they make ga gaming content. And they're just awesome, dude. But anyways, please hit that like button. And uh, we're out of here. And please leave your opinion on what you think. And Nathan, you don't have to. If you don't have an opinion. If you have an opinion, leave it in the comments below. And it's, I'm sorry for my allergies throughout the video. But peace out, y'all.